Hi, and welcome to episode 17, season two of Bigfoot Sports Network. We're wrapping up the winter season, so make sure you come out and support your athletes. Hi, I'm Carly, and I'm here with the Athlete of the Week. This is Noah Langlin. He is the um, captain of the swim team that we co-op with Badger, so congratulations. All right, Noah, what kind of events do you do? Um, I mainly do the 200 individual medley, which is a 50 of each stroke, fly, back, rest, and free in that order. And so it's one lap down and one lap back of each stroke. And I also do the 500, which is 20 lengths and takes about five minutes. So distance freestyle. Do you think that you'll continue swimming after high school? I do not think I plan to uh, continue swimming competitively in my college, but I do hope to continue swimming just like for fun. Uh, what like techniques are you best at and why? I'm pretty good at all four strokes. That's why I do like the IM, but I'd say my best is probably freestyle, specifically distance. And my worst is probably breaststroke. So you guys are having like a really good season so far. So what are you doing to kind of like get to state? Um, we've been training obviously for a couple of months, really very hard training. And now we're at the point where we begin to rest it's called taper, and so starting this week, we start bringing down the practice, bringing down the yardage, and then we just rest, and then we shave for conference indoor sectionals. And then at sectionals, it will decide whether we can go to state or not. What was it like co-oping with Badger? I really like it because it kind of allows me to be part of like both schools. Like I'm very involved at Badger and at Bigfoot, and I have a lot of friends at both. So you get like that two-school aspect. Thank you and congratulations again. We'll be looking forward how sectionals go. So. Thank you. And keep on wishing. Remember your dream is your own the scheme. So keep on pushing. Take nothing less. All right, Pat, what is your Super Bowl prediction? Niners beat Chiefs 27 to 14. There it is. All right, friend, what's your Super Bowl prediction? 49ers by 50. Okay. All right, Chris, what is your Super Bowl prediction? 49ers by 60. Okay. All right, Owen, what is your Super Bowl prediction? 49ers by 70. <laughs> All right. All right, Josh, what is your Super Bowl prediction? 49ers by like a 80. All right. All right, Will, what is your Super Bowl prediction? Uh, Chiefs are going to win by 20. Ooh. 20 points. Good. All right, Mr. Luke, what is your Super Bowl prediction? Kansas City Chiefs 24, San Francisco 49ers 23. Mm. Close game. Hey, it's Mila. Since this year is a leap year, we're going to test our students' knowledge on the calendar. How many years are in between a, le a leap year? Four. Yeah. yeah. How many years are in between a leap year? Seven. Okay. Lauren, how many years are in between a leap year? Four. Hey, Abby, how many years are in between a leap year? Four. Yes. Hey, how many years are in between a leap year? Five? No, no four, four. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, how many years are in between a leap year? In between? Four. In between is. It's this year, right? Is it four or three? Because in between. Oh. Like it happens every four years. Was, so three? Francis, so it has to be like at least. It's. <laughs> wait. It's four. Okay. Hey, <laughs> how many years are in between a leap year? Four? Yes. Is it four? Patrick, how many days are in February this year? 29. Yes. How many days are in February this month? 29. How many years are in between a leap year? 15. <laughs> I don't know. It's four. Oh. How many years are in between a leap year? Four. Okay. How many days are in February? 31. <laughs> 29 this year. <laughs> Looking up ahead, it looks like we have a pretty busy schedule for the Chiefs. On Monday, the boys' basketball team will be playing home. On Tuesday, the girls' basketball team will be playing home. Also on Tuesday, the JV wrestling team will have 
an invite. Make sure to come out and support all these teams and dress up for the themes. The themes will be posted on the Bigfoot student section page on Instagram. Go Chiefs! I know winter sports are still going on, but if you're not in one and want to prepare for spring sports, here are your options. Our baseball open gyms are open at 5 p.m. on February 18th, 25th, and March 3rd and 10th. Our softball open gyms are every Sunday after February 11th at 6.30 p.m. And lastly, our tennis preseason meeting is on February 8th at 3 p.m. in Coach Lawler's room. Go Chiefs! Just move on up. A piece of your fine Into the steeple A beautiful people Where there's only one kind So hush now, child And don't cry Your folks might understand you By and by Move on up And keep on wishing Production. <laughs> Production. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you want to go out and support the basketball <laughs> yeah, and wrestlers. <laughs> and you want to. <laughs> and you want to go out. You you gotta. You wanna. <laughs> We're wrapping up this. <laughs> <laughs> Did I make it yeah. again? <laughs> Looking ahead, it seems like we have a pretty busy schedule coming up. On Monday, the boys' basketball team will be playing home. On Tuesday, the girls' basketball team... Is he behind me? <laughs> <laughs>